Hello, welcome to Mass Guru channel. In this video, I am going to explain chapter 12 circles exercise 12.5 second question. First, before going to that solution, let us uh, see the question. See, question is given that vertices A, comma B, comma C of a quadrilateral A, B, C, D lie on a circle. Okay. Also, angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Then prove that vertex, vertex D also lie on the same circle. Okay. So, first we given information from the question. See, this is the given question. Angle A plus angle C 180 degrees. And vertex is A, B, C of a quadrilateral A, B, C, D lie on a circle. Okay. See. And quadrilateral A, B, C, D is given. That quadrilateral A, B, C vertices. A, B, C. Just to A, B, C vertices only lie on a circle. Then we need to prove that D is also lie on the same circle. D vertex D also lie on the same circle that we need to prove. Before going to that, first that A, B, C, D quadrilateral. You can prove it as that is a cyclic quadrilateral. Then automatically the vertex D also lie on the same circle, right? So for that, first uh, here given now uh, angle A <coughs> plus angle C 180 degrees now. Now remaining vertices what? Angle B plus angle D which is equals to 360 minus 180 degrees. Why? Because sum of all angles in any quadrilateral 360 degrees right that only sum of angles in a quadrilateral quadrilateral 360 degrees okay so here abcd is a quadrilateral no so that sum of all angles in that abcd quadrilateral 360 degrees if you subtract 180 from 360, so this will become, sum of these two angles will become 180 degrees, right? Now, see, from this, angle A angle C 180 degrees and angle B plus angle D also 180 degrees, right? Means that, see, take the quadrilateral, any quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Sum of opposite angles. 180 means we can say that that is a cyclic quadrilateral. That is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. If it is a cyclic quadrilateral means that now in quadrilateral just I am taking the shape of a quadrilateral A, B, C, D. In, now in quadrilateral A, B, C, D sum of Opposite angles, sum of opposite angles, 180 degrees, sum of opposite angles, 180 degrees. Why? Because angle C, angle A are opposite angles, sum should be 180. Angle B, angle D also opposite angles, that is 180 degree. So now in given quadrilateral A, B, C, D, sum of opposite angles, 180 degrees. Based on this reason, we can say that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. If it is cyclic quadrilateral, okay, if it is cyclic quadrilateral, then vertex D also lie on the same circle. Okay, so... A, B, C, D quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral why it is cyclic quadrilateral why because sum of opposite angles 180 degrees and uh, if it is a cyclic quadrilateral then vertex D also lie 
lie on the same circle. Lie on the same circle. So that will be. So before we took A, B, C, only vertex A, B, C, lie on the circle. We need to prove D also lie on the same circle. That we proved that. Okay. I hope you understood very simple. Just to give an information, take it. And remaining two angles, write it. From that value, how to get? Subtract to this value from 360. From total angle. Okay, then you will get these two angles. Sum is 180. So, here opposite angle sum 180. Here also opposite angle sum 180. Okay. So, now in quadrilateral ABCD, sum of opposite angles 180. We got it, no? So, now... So, quadrilateral ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. If it is cyclic quadrilateral, then vertex D also lie on the same circle. Okay? I hope you understood. Once take the screenshot. One more question also. I am going to explain. That is the proof that a cyclic rhombus is a square. Nothing will be there. We need to draw the cyclic rhombus and that we need to prove it that is a square very simple basically cyclic rhombus it will become a square why because all four sides are equal no very simple just roughly i am writing here see <coughs> we need to prove cyclic rhombus is a square okay here cyclic rhombus a b c d is given no so here just I am writing this is a cyclic rhombus. Let it consider as not exactly it will be. Just I am drawing one figure that is let us take that is a cyclic rhombus. Now we, we will prove that that is a square. Okay. So how it will be? Why? Because in a square all four sides are equal. Yes or no in a square? So, CD, AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. So, if all four sides are equal in rhombus, then it will become a square, simply. So, ABCD is a square, we can write. Okay. Next, last question. Next, last question. Last question. This question is given for the following draw a circle and inscribe the figure given. If a polygon of a given type can't be inscribed, write not possible. Okay. So some shapes given that we need to inscribe in a circle. That shapes. Okay. Very simple. That is the fourth question in this exercise. So everyone after watching video we can give comment your opinion. Okay. See fourth question. First shape is given rectangle. Name of the shape is rectangle. So we should inscribe in a circle. That rectangle we should inscribe in a circle. Okay. Draw the circle. Okay. Now you can inscribe in a circle that rectangle okay now this is the center of the circle this is the e b c d is a rectangle okay very simple next the uh, second figure is second shape name of the figure is trapezium okay here trapezium is given that trapezium we can inscribe in a circle. So how it will be? Same circle. You can draw it. Okay. Now trapezium. They said no. Just a trapezium. You can draw the trapezium. This is a trapezium. A, B, C, D. We can inscribe in a circle. Okay. Next. Third, third name of the figure. Obtuse triangle. Obtuse triangle. Triangle. Acuse triangle is 
given. So what is meaning of obtuse triangle? In a triangle, if any one angle is obtuse, then we can call a obtuse angle triangle, right? So that we can draw, that we can inscribe in a circle, obtuse angle, obtuse triangle. So just I am taking, this is a obtuse angle triangle, ABC. So here it is a obtuse triangle which is inscri inscribed in a circle. Okay, next to figure non-rectangular parallelogram. Non-rectangular parallelogram. Non-rectangular parallelogram, it is not possible. It is not possible. Okay, next to acute isosceles triangle. Next one is, fifth one is, acute isosceles triangle. So we should inscribe in a circle. Isosceles means two sides of a triangle should be equal. So A, B, C. These two sides are equal. Okay. Next, quadrilateral PQRS with PR as a diameter. With PR as a diameter, 6 to 1. See. This is a circle. Okay. So, this is a circle. PQRS is a quadrilateral. Any quadrilateral. Just I am taking one quadrilateral. Okay. Any quadrilateral PQRS. Give the name PQRS. Okay. What they are saying? With PR as a diameter. See. PR as a diameter. This is the center of a circle. So, the line which is passing through the diameter of a circle. Uh, center of a circle that is a diameter right so see this is pr as a diameter now pr is a diameter of this circle so and p q r s is a quadrilateral so that by using this condition this p q r s quadrilateral we should inscribe in a circle okay this is the fourth question I hope you understood. Thank you for more videos. Subscribe my channel. Support me. Bye. Have a nice day.